going crazy, dude! She found out about her missing stuff! Hurry up and get to her room, dude! You know she hates waiting! <laughs> Perny, can I really be the hero? First off, let's set this up for everyone. Pernies are from the turn-based strategy series Disgaea. These are combustible penguins normally used as cannon fodder by being hurled at enemy forces against their will. Now in the case of Prinny, Can I Really Be a Hero, they take center stage and embark on a 2D action adventure that is rewarding and downright heart-pounding. Among them are those whose corrupt spirits were once human. Prinnies. Prinnies are the reincarnated souls of evil human beings forced to serve in purgatory under the crazed demon master, Etna. She sends you out to collect your ingredients for this decadent dessert Who in this steaming hell ate my dessert? and mocks your every move along the way. Was it me, dude? The journey is full of jokes, devious level designs, and intense boss battles. Story interludes add a lot to the experience, rewarding you with humorous anecdotes after every major fight. Grim is the fate of a Prinny, and you will find yourself going through hundreds of the flightless birds as you traverse tricky platforms and bop angry bosses until they submit. You have an army of 1,000 penguins, but you control just one Prinny at a time as you make your way through the levels. Give it your Prinny best, dude! Don't fret, though. You should finish the game with ample Prinnies in reserve. But if not, you can start a new game with a special attack that will make the game slightly easier. The game can be a challenge, but the smooth difficulty curve eases you into the world, building on your past exploits so you're never overwhelmed in battle. As a penguin, you'd expect to have limited attacks, right? Well, you'd only be half correct. What you have is limited, but still effective. The mainstay of your penguin arsenal is the sword swipe and a butt bash stun. You can dash and double jump your way to the ultra dessert. The controls function admirably for the most part, but there are a few control issues which hinder the game's enjoyment. The jumping is extremely rigid, and there is noticeable lag when you push the butt bash move. Stringing your moves together is also cumbersome. If you swipe an enemy with a sword and then see a cannonball steaming towards your head, you'll have to wait a beat before you can duck out of the way. None of these are game-breaking, but they lead to more than a few unanticipated deaths. To survive the treacherous levels, you'll need to quickly dispose of foes and land on tiny platforms above bottomless pits. Enemies will attack at all times from all angles, making your way to the next checkpoint can feel like a mini triumph. The checkpoint system is very forgiving and ensures you won't have to traipse over the same levels repeatedly. Dispatching enemies with your clever attacks makes all the small annoyances feel like little more than forgettable missteps. Once you reach the end of the level, you'll get to encounter cunning bosses. Some nice witty banter between the all too meek Prinny and the boss really sets the stage for the fight. I have no idea what's going on, but I'll take things from him. <laughs> boss fights are pattern based and force you to learn the ins and outs of each enemy's attacks. Some fights can be extremely difficult, but conquering your foe always seems obtainable if you just sacrifice one more Prinny. The fair difficulty curve ensures that, when you finally raise your arms in victories, it will be with a feeling of satisfaction rather than brow-wiping relief. Despite some small missteps along the way, Prinny's first foray into the spotlight is an undeniable success. Amazing boss battles, clever dialogue, and a number of memorable encounters make up for control issues. The leap from strategy game grunt to action platformer stars daring, but Prinny makes the transition with style. 